Are you planning on leveling up your iPhone footage and wanting to create a cinematic video? Then you might consider getting Bscripts Pro Series 1.33 Anamorphic Lens MK2 to make your videos stand out. What's up mobile creators, Bennett Grazer here with SmartphoneFilmmaking.com, the epic online course where I teach you everything I know on how to produce professional and cinematic video with your smartphone. And today we're gonna talk about Bscripts newly updated anamorphic lens. I'm out here in the middle of zero where I will be shooting with this lens so that you guys can see how the footage will look like. And I must say the video results were pretty amazing. Now, if you don't know what an anamorphic lens is, it basically creates that organic widescreen cinematic look in your video. Usually you don't get that type of look just using the standard lens on your iPhone. What many people do is that they add a letterbox in post to create that sort of widescreen effect. But the truth is, if you want that 2.41 aspect ratio, that widescreen cinematic look, then the anamorphic lens will give you that organic look. Now with the anamorphic lens, it increases the view sideways, whereas using the standard lens on your iPhone, it increases it in all direction. So with the anamorphic lens, if you want those natural black bars in your video without losing image resolution, this is the option to go with. Because with the standard lens, you would have to add those black bars in your video, losing resolution in the end. Another characteristic the anamorphic lens has is that it creates those epic horizontal lens flare in your videos when shooting against bright uh, light sources. And this is Bscript Pro's universal rig, which I think is pretty awesome, especially if you do a lot of handheld shooting. Um, it provides a lot of stability and it also comes with different uh, mounting plates, which allows you to uh, mount third party uh, lenses as well. So in the end, it will be more cost effective if you get the Bscript Pro's universal rig instead of always having to buy another case for your smartphone. Sorry guys, it got super hot back there, so I had to change location. So this is how the full setup would look like when I shoot handheld. So on the back, you have a 37 millimeter thread and at the front, a 58 millimeter filter thread that allows you to mount an ND filter, for example, to create more motion blur in your video. But in my case, I don't use it that often, especially when shooting in slow motion, since there isn't much motion blur in it anyways. Something else to mention is that you want your anamorphic lens to be positioned vertically, otherwise your video will look way Way to distort it. Now when using an anamorphic lens it's best to use a third-party video app that allows you to de-squeeze the image. So in this case uh, I like using Filmic Pro and you'll see that it looks kind of wonky. So to de-squeeze the image I'll head over to settings, hardware and since this is a 1.33 times anamorphic adapter I'll select 1.33 and you'll see that it has been de-squeezed, adding those black bars at the top and bottom. Now, as you can see, you get really that cinematic wide look screen in your video. And if I shoot with the standard wide angle lens, you will quickly see that the wide screen effect is gone. Now, what's cool is that the anamorphic lens is not only compatible with the standard wide angle lens, but also with the telephoto lens. And with the Bscript Pro Universal rig, I can simply uh, unscrew this and switch to the telephoto lens in a matter of seconds. And yeah, holding it this way really allows me to have a steady grip and create smooth handheld shots with it. Now, who is the anamorphic lens for? For anyone who wants that organic wide angle perspective in their videos and wants to have those epic lens flare in their videos, then the anamorphic lens will provide that cinematic look for you. And I especially like pairing it with Bscript Pro's universal rig as shooting with it handheld really provides a great experience and feels professional. So if you want to stand out from the other mobile creators and having an anamorphic lens will certainly step up your mobile filmmaking game. Now guys, if you want to learn more, make sure to check out smartphonefilmmaking.com, which is my mobile filmmaking school where you will learn how to 
to shoot cinematic and professional looking videos on your smartphone. You can join other students in the program and I'm still running a sale that will end this week where you can get 30% off using the code SF30OFF. So make sure to take advantage of it. Would love to see you there. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. This will help my channel a lot and also leave a like and make sure to comment down below if you have any further questions. Also, don't forget to download my free smartphone filmmaking guide that will help you get started creating quality videos on your phone. So with that said, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of the day. You guys take care and I'll see you the next time.